Results for a DNA test conducted by detectives to determine the parents of Sumaya Mare Yusufu are finally out. Detectives say the breakthrough will give them direction on their next course of action after the investigation file has been reviewed by the DPP. <laughs> Sumaya Mare Yusufu was allegedly abducted by her mother's cousin during Eid al-Fitri celebrations on the night of 13th May 2021. A kidnapping happened at the family held the celebrations within Biafra in Nairobi, Sisley Estate. The mystery surrounding her abduction puzzled even detectives, only for the family to suspect several months later a relative had been involved. The relative was a cousin to her mother. She took custody of the child, enrolled her to a private school and even reported her mother to the DCI to be investigated for abduction. <laughs> All of a sudden, after two years, we have been watching this hour. We are going to start the police to put them in jail. The suspect was using fake documents he had acquired and unclear circumstances to claim the child. And if a Mohammed mother to Sumaya Mare told K24 TV that if was to have her child back after she realized who had abducted her, hit a dead end up to when the family approached us. This is to make sure you are assisting the right to the parents for your child. We took up the matter, investigated it, and aired the story on K24 TV's Crime Beat segment. During this time, this year's Child Protection Unit took up the matter and initiated a DNA test for both parents who claimed the child. She said that is a year in the women's, and I have a birth certificate in total. Apparently, they changed the name of my daughter. They have four children. Suspect Najma Kahozi and Anifa Mohamed both insisted to be the parents of the child when we aired the story. Their DNA samples were taken and detectives now have the results, showing the child belongs to Anifa Mohamed. Detectives say they are waiting for further guidance on whether they will arrest and charge Najma Kahozi with child abduction charges when the file is reviewed. She's still insisting Nializa, Nahajawa Iza. So we had to do the DNA, let the results come out and the law take its course. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, the child is under the custody of police, with Anifa Mohammed only hoping to reunite with her child after two years of a mysterious abduction. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.